Hello everyone, and today we're going to be taking a look at getting Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 to play uh, with 3D hardware acceleration on Windows 10. Now we did make a video about this previously uh, on Windows 7, and that involved uh, putting the Voodoo wrapper in place uh, to, to get this to run with 3D hardware acceleration. Uh, so what happens is when you load up the game, uh, the cutscenes play fine. I did have this as a, I, I did look into this as a C, uh, when we did our CRT video uh, on the CRT monitor. And again, the cutscenes loaded fine, but when you get into game, it was just a black screen and you couldn't see anything there if you enable 3D hardware acceleration. You can run the game in software mode, but do you really want to do that? It's 2020. You didn't want to do it in 1997. Uh, never mind 2020 uh, when this game came out. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to install mods uh, to get us to play this game. Because it is an excellent game, uh, Dark Forces 2. Uh, don't confuse it with Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. Uh, this is the, which is the third game in the Jedi Knight series. Because the first one was Dark Forces. Um, which runs fine because it's just kind. Of, it just kind of runs. I can't remember what engine it runs on. Is it not the. Is it the build engine that it runs on? It's something like that, and it runs in DOSBox, and this runs fine. Uh, this one ran with a 3D game engine, which I don't remember what it was called. Um, but again, and you've got Mysteries of the Sith, uh, which is the expansion uh, for this, and then you had the third Jedi Knight game, which was called Jedi Knight Two Jedi Outcast, because this was. Technically the second Jedi Knight game, but the first game to be called Jedi Knight. And then, of course, you've got Jedi Knight Jedi Academy was the final game in the series. Uh, so we're going to try and get this to run. Now, what we want to do is, I'll put a link in the description for this. We want to head over to moddb.com and we are looking for Jedi Knight Remastered. In fact, the first thing you should do, I would recommend just do a fresh install of Dark Forces 2. Uh, do a fresh install on Steam. Uh, it's only 700 megabytes. It's not that big a download. It takes a few minutes uh, to download at best. Uh, so you should be able to make a note of the directory that you installed it to as well. So you got to right click on it there, go to properties, go to local files, browse local files. Um, so I have put this on the F drive and it's in Steam library, Steam apps, common slash Star Wars Jedi Knight. Uh, I've already got the uh, expansion, uh, the uh, the thing installed here. So head over, then you're going to head over to the moddb.com and you're going to find Jedi Knight Remaster. This is about 700 megabytes as well. This was added on the uh, 11th of April 2020. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty good actually because this gives you 3D hardware accelerations. It says here again, 3D hardware uh, Jedi Knight, you get the upscale texture mods, you get FOV mods, uh, so you get quite a few. It does tell you where to install this program. Uh, now when you download it, you'll get a zip file. Uh, so basically just unzip it. I've unzipped it to the desktop. As you can see here, you get Jedi Knight Remastered. You get the configuration guide, you get the uninstallation guide, you get the readme. The readme is basically what you see here. This is basically the readme. Um, what you see on the moddb.com you get the configuration guide and you get jedi knight remastered 1.0.exe now i would recommend before this just either disabling the re any real-time virus protection that you've got or just exclude i just excluded the entire steam folder from mine here you can see here we've got um bull guard internet security here um, so what I do is I go into my settings and I go to the tuning and oh, it's not there even there. Skip files or folders. And what I would do is just add the entire Steam library folder. That's the wrong one. It's F drive, Steam library, Steam apps and just hit that and just exclude it. Just to solve any false positives. You could turn it off as well. You could turn the real time protection off and watch everything go crazy. Um, or, you know, you could do that because sometimes you will get a false positive out of these things when it installs. Um, just just so that we can avoid that. So just double click on the executable file and you'll get a nice Jedi Knight remastered uh, thingy here. 
uh, again just hit next and again it will just go through the readme here um, with the mods that it's got here uh, hardware accelerated better graphics we're getting 32 bit color depth and again just agree to it I do not agree and then again wherever you installed this uh, install it to so again I put it in this one's got the GOG version uh, C program files, GOG Galaxy Games, Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. It will work on any version. This will work on the retail version as well if you've got the disc version. Uh, and it will work on, uh, again, the Steam version as well, which we have here. Uh, so again, I put this in F Drive. And we have Steam Library and Common. And again, just scroll down. It's Star Wars Jedi Knight. I think it's called, yeah, Star Wars Jedi Knight. And again, just uh, make sure you select the root directory here. So make sure that is selected. Hit OK. And again, it should have the root directory. And then hit Next. Uh, I'm not going to hit Next because it's installed. It just goes through an installer uh, as usual. Uh, you know how an installer works. We're going to hit Exit here. Um, didn't complete the installation. Go away. And what will happen is you'll get these four files on your desktop. You'll get Jedi Knight Remastered. You'll get Jedi Knight Configuration Guide. You can fire this up. Uh, and it'll open a PDF uh, for you, which will just go through the options here um, in the PDF. Uh, we'll zoom in a bit on that so we can see a bit better. It's better. Um, so it'll tell you um, Jedi Knight Remastered configuration, because um, it's put it on your desktop uh, by default here. So this is the Jedi Knight uh, JKR uninstall guide this is the guide this is the configuration file uh, you can find this in here um, where which it should have the configuration somewhere in here um, but we'll just go with uh, the guide there are the guides here and again you've got the this is the file here that you're going to edit the jk uh, jkgm dot j j s json Jesus, <laughs> couldn't get that out of there. Uh, that is the file that we're going to edit. Okay, this is the file that we're going to edit. You can edit it in two ways. You can right click on this. Uh, now, if you don't have a text editor, I would just open. You can open with and just choose Notepad to open it. Uh, now, I have a text editor. I've got. Um, notepad plus plus here so i'm going to open it with that um but if you don't have anything like a text editor just open it with notepad and you'll see here this is the uh you'll see the file that it's opened up here it's f steam live steam apps common jedi knight jksm dot json okay it's opened this file you can again if you want to go into the file you can do this as well and again it will open the exact same file there you go. Uh, so you've just got a little uh, desktop uh, guide. It also recommends that when you run uh, Jedi Knight Remastered, uh, that you go in here and run it as the administrator. So this is that's the main executable there. That's the configuration guide. That's the uninstallation guide. And this, don't double click on that because it'll just take you to the open with thing. Open it in a text editor. Uh, now for resolution here, uh, select your monitor's resolution. It tells you in the guide here to select your monitor's resolution. Uh, is what it says here, like change it to 1920 by 1080. I've had issues with this. Um, I, my monitor resolution is 2560 by 1440. And I've, I've found that, I'll show you what happens in fact, if you do run it at 1440p. But I've found that the highest resolution I can get is 1280 by 720. Okay. Uh, full screen, if you want it to run full screen. True, if you don't. False, again, if you want the game aspect ratios to maintain, change these to true. Uh, the HUD scale, you can set it to whatever you want. Uh, the guide recommends for 1080p 2.0. You can see here, you can see here, there's the differences. You can get through this guide here. Uh, it says 2.0 seems best. You can play around with it yourself. You can have anisotropic filtering as well. You can have anti-aliasing. It's doing MSAA and it's going to be times two. We'll just leave this. Uh, you can have Bloom SSAO, screen space ambient occlusion. You can have that. Uh, you can have parallax uh, texture mapping. It'll tell you what everything does here. There is... Uh, with Bloom, without Bloom, you can judge for yourself if you want that. And then there's SSAO um, 
if you want it or you don't want it there you can see the difference um, you can see the parallax uh, texture mapping if you want that there um, again if you want that if you want your FOV it tells you you can change the JKR FOV no.exe uh, again these are the executables um, Jedi Knight there it is there uh, these are the executables, so just change that to match this. This is a set to the no FOV. So if you want your FOV set to, you know, whatever you want here is 95, 100, 115, one, it goes all the way from 95 to 120. Um, so select that and it'll fire up one of those executables there. Um, again, you can have the texture filtering, the parallax, if you want these things on. Uh, I'll show you what happens if I set it to 1440p. Oops, oops. What have we done? Hang on. Why is this cursor changed? Right, there we go. That's better. So if I change it to 25, uh, sorry, 2560 um, by 1440, which is the resolution of the monitor, uh, and we hit save, and then we fire up our Jedi Knight Remastered, I get this issue. You can see it just does that. That is the problem there. Uh, tried fiddling around with the aspect ratios. No idea how to fix it. Um, it's the same with 1080p. Again, if we put in the resolution here of 1920 uh, by 1080. And save that. And then fire this up. We get the exact same issue. With it being off to the side. If anyone knows how to fix this... Uh, Please let me know, because again, the monitor's uh, resolution is it is 1440p, so you should be able to display that. So what we're having to do is cut the resolution in half. We have to Alt F4 to get out of it as well. But if I put in here 1280 by 720, and again, if you'd want it to run window, just put full screen equals false. And again, don't forget to save it. And then you fire it up, you'll notice it's correct. You see, it's all correct there. Um, and again, you just go in, when you fire up the game, just go in, we've got the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, but we're already recording. We should already be recording. Uh, it's just got to display, enable hardware acceleration, and you'll see here that you've got your resolution that you've selected. Uh, it is, uh, I don't know if it's maybe the view size thing. Maybe if we took the view size to, does that do anything? I wonder if that does anything. Let's try that instead. So that's 720p that you get. I want to see if changing the view size did anything. Um, Mr. Five at 2560 at night. 1440 and save it and fire this up. You can leave that file open, it's fine. Nah, don't do nothing. Alright, so that didn't work. Uh, again, if anyone knows how to uh, get this to work. Uh, we'll just do 720p then. 720p. And save. And we'll fire this back up again. And it is correct. Uh, we'll do OK. And into the setup menu. Display. Oh no, we'll leave that back to. Don't know what that does. So, anyway. So, enable 3D hardware acceleration. And when you fire up the game. We will skip the cutscene, and again we get a nice 3D hardware accelerated game here. And as you can see, the frame rate is, oh F11 changes the brightness as well. Uh, the frame rate is 144 FPS. Hey! Matey, how's it going? What is wrong with your face? Your face has fallen off, pal. Right, let's go shoot some of these dudes. Definitely shot first. Get out of my bar. Are you trying to be Clint Eastwood? Alright, um, we'll go turn the volume down a little bit. Get up. Uh, sound. Um, music volume. Let's turn that down. Sound effects. Turn that to the there. Just so we can hear a little bit better. That's better. Ooh, it bounces. There you go, you've got E11 rifle. And yeah, it's quite playable again on Windows 10, but it's not perfect though, we'd rather have, you know, native resolution, where are you, where the hell did you come from, punching me in the face, 
So again, like the HUD size, that's where I see your uh, health there. We've got 80 health and 112 shield. You can increase that if you want. Yeah, and that's what the guide was saying when it was up at 2.0 recommends. Uh, so you can increase that um, for the HUD size here. We'll just go with this for now because it, it's really struggling a bit here. Frame rate's a bit low. It's not using the GPU fully. This is what I, this is why I wanted to go with uh yeah I wanted to go with a, a retro gaming PC just to avoid issues like this because this is I mean it's running but we have to modify the game heavily to get it to run on Windows 10. I knew he was there. I knew you were there. <laughs> the auto aims on. There we go. I'm getting hit here. Oh, well, no, that good. Seems the auto aim has a range. Ow. Oh, what are you doing? Alright. Lack of a targeting reticule there. Took a lot of damage here. There you go. We've got a shield recharger. But it does run okay. It's only running at 720p instead of 1440p. I think there's a dude up here, isn't it? There he is. Alright, matey, how's it going? Hey. Sorry. Whoa, you can float! He's a Jedi. I know nothing. Knows nothing, though. I don't know nothing. There's a thing over here. Right, can we jump back up there? It is weird. The controls are weird for this game. Like, the right mouse button is to jump. Space is the action bar. Um, yeah, it's a bit weird that way. Have the auto aim on. But yeah, it runs okay. Apparently it's got better graphics, but I don't I don't know if I noticed. It's been a while since we played this. But certainly the, the lasers are a lot better. Apparently the lightsabers are way better looking as well. If we ever we're not gonna get that far, but I'm just gonna do a bit of the first level here. There's a dude over here, isn't there? Oh, you can get it to reflect. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Oh wait, there's no one up here, is there? Oh there is. Uh, he's dead. His space bar is the action button. So the action button. I've put always run on because it's always set. For some reason it's set to off. But I like always run. I like running around. I'm just that kind of guy that likes running about like a headless chicken. Uh, there was a secret area here, wasn't there? I don't think the parallax is working. Alright, yeah, there was. What's crouch? See, see a crouch. Alright, we can crouch in here and there's like a secret area. If we uh, crouch and... There we go. Hey, entered secret area. Nice, we get some ammo, some health back. We've already got full shields and that takes us back to here and we got to go... Push that button to get the box to come down again. Whoa, crap, oh crap. Oh, I fell down there. Shoot these dudes. Is that a rat or a draw? It looks like a little nose at the Yeah, whatever. Got a battery. Alright, how the hell do we get back up? Matey. Well, how do I get back up, mate? Help me, my friend. I will be your friend forever. Or a, ooh, a back to tank. I think that just gives us our health back. Uh, matey. Let me just slide down. How the hell do we get back up? How do we get back up? Uh oh. Uh, this green thing. Hey. Why am I asking you for help? Alright, I can't figure out how to get back up here. Is there a. What does that do? Ah, I can't figure out how to get back up here. Use the force, but we are Kyle Katar and we are a we are a Jedi. Is this place just a dead end then? I know nothing. Oh, you know nothing. Don't even know how to. Mind your own business. 
he's trapped here forever. We're trapped forever with this dude. Uh, but anyway, so that is all for this video, seeing as we're trapped in an eternity in this place, uh, it seems. Jo no, that didn't work. That was too obvious. Oh, we've got a exploding barrel. Didn't do any damage to us, though. Well, what happens if we shoot him? <gasps> We've gone to the dark side. Anyway, so that is all for this video. So there you go. That is Dark For Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. Not to be confused with Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. Uh, if anyone knows how to get back up, please tell me. Because I will be trapped here for eternity or I will start the game again. Uh, but anyway, that is all for this video. So thank you for joining me and we'll see you again soon. And goodbye.